The first task is to decide on the type of pump you need. If it is for a single family home that has a small well with water a long way down, a jet pump may be in order. This pump consists of a centrifugal pump which pumps water down the well through one pipe and pushes more water up the second pipe in the well. The Venturi effect is used to draw the water from the well. This pump is easily selected from those available given your well size and water depth. Our example, however, will assume a larger well with water needed for a small community or subdivision of 100 homes. Our well is 6 inches in diameter with water at an elevation of 124 feet at no flow. The pump discharge is 30 feet of 3 inch steel pipe. Our water storage is to be a hydro pneumatic tank 500 feet from the well connected using a 6 inch PVC pipe. The water needed is calculated as follows. The number of homes multiplied by gallons per day divided by 144. If we assume the water use of 250 gallons per day, our well needs to provide 174 gallons per minute. To calculate the pump static head at rest, you have to subtract the elevation in which the water is at rest from the elevation of the hydro pneumatic tank and then add the pressure in the tank. In this example, the water is at rest in the well at an elevation of 124 feet. The hydro pneumatic tank is set to be at a water elevation of 144 feet at the low working pressure of 45 pounds per square inch. Thus the static head at low pressure would be 20 feet which is 144 minus 124. You then need to convert the pressure from PSI to feet of head. 45 PSI is converted to feet of head first by multiplying 45 by 144 and then dividing by 62.43 which is the weight of a cubic foot of water. This comes to 104 feet, so the total is 104 plus 20 or 124 feet for the pump static head at rest.